D S T Entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Old Down. G the tracks. <laughs> What's up, this is Young Sebi, and today I'm gonna be cooking one of my favorite dishes. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to make this dish, which is Pad Thai noodles, made by Thai Kitchen. And what we're gonna need here is, we're gonna need vegetable oil, or canola oil, a little music. This, inside of this box comes a package of noodles, and also, a soft package. And you can get this uh, Thai kitchen at any of your local stores like Publix, Whole Foods, even at Walmart. For the toppings, what we're going to use is crushed red pepper, lime, and I'm going to use fish sauce. You can get this at the same stores where you can pick up, uh, pick up this uh, Pad Thai little package also. I'm going to be using sugar, and I'm going to be using a nut. Mix. Normally you would use peanuts, uh, chopped peanuts, but I just go ahead and use this nut topping mixed nut variety by Fisher. It's very convenient, you know, and it goes well with the dish. For my meat, I'm going to use shrimp. I've already uh, taken the shell off the shrimp, but I left the tail on my shrimp. First, uh, we're going to need to boil our water. And I'm going to be making two packages of uh, pad thai noodles. So I'm going to need to boil, bring eight cups of uh, water to boil. And once the water is boiled, I'm gonna take that and uh, take that off the heat. I'm gonna put the noodles, our lovely rice noodles, into the water. Drop the noodles in the water and I'll let them soak. Make sure that I get them down. And normally, you would let them soak for about eight to 10 minutes. And okay, while we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking uh, my egg, frying my egg. And with that, I'm gonna need to use one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And remember, I'm using two packets, so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and drop in my egg. Just two eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and scramble those. Okay. Now while I'm doing that, the egg, the rice noodles over here are soaking in the hot water. And it should be ready in a few minutes there. And I got this on about medium heat. We don't wanna over. I don't want to have it too high, especially when we're cooking with oil. It's be splashing everywhere. I want to make sure that I don't have like big chunks of egg. I make sure that I break the egg up so that it's going to mix well. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to go ahead and take these eggs and remove these from the skillet. Okay, the noodles are done, so I went ahead and drained the noodles of the hot water and I went ahead and rinsed them with cold water and drained that water and sat the, the scrambled eggs aside as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and put two tablespoons of oil back into my wok and I'm going to start frying the shrimp. Let that heat up a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in my shrimp in there. Okay. And this is gonna take a minute. We're gonna cook these shrimp until they're not transparent. I'm gonna cut that heat up a little bit because I wanna get these things done. Okay, and while I let those sit right there for a minute, okay, I'm gonna show you also one thing that I left out were the bean sprouts. Normally, what you would do is you would leave them uh, in this state, leave them fresh, and mix them in once the dish is already cooked. So I'm not gonna cook my bean sprouts, I'm gonna leave them to the side. Okay, 
the shrimp are cooking. So you can see they do get a little small curl. Now let's us know that they're cooking and that they're about done here. Okay, these are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain liquid from these shrimp. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit, a little more oil in here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the noodles. Toss the noodles. So I can get it mixed up, you know, really well. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the sauce to this. I'll start with one packet. put another tablespoon of oil you can gauge it you just you have to gauge it also to see it, um, if the noodles are drying out because you don't want them to dry out completely okay. I'm gonna keep tossing you can see as I added the oil it doesn't you know they're not drying out as quickly as they would if I didn't add the oil. I want to make sure that I have all this sauce completely blended into the noodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the heat on this. I'm gonna go ahead and add the eggs. Make sure they're blended. Okay, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just like take it off the eye. Stop. Okay. okay. And just blend that together. Okay, so it's, now that I have this mix, I'm going to go ahead and plate it. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, put some bean sprouts, put them on top. You can mix them while you're eating them. I'm going to put some peanuts. Fresh red pepper. You don't have to put that if you don't want to put crushed red pepper because that may be a little too spicy. I'm going to put some fish sauce. Put as much as you like or if you don't like fish sauce, you don't have to put fish sauce. I love fish sauce. so And then you can put some sugar on there. Sure, it goes well with uh, the spice also. And then you can use your lime, garnish it with lime. You can squeeze your lime over it. Okay. And there you go. Pad Thai noodles with shrimp. Chuck Sebi out. Chopping it, chopping it, it's a show